Hey, it's Earth Castle. Today I will teach you how to make rain and snow in Hammer Editor. As you can see here, we have this outdoor area with no snow or rain. To add these, first find the trigger tool in the texture browser. Once you've got it, make a large brush around your outside area. Make sure it covers all spots where rain or snow would fall. Spots where the player can't reach can usually be ignored, but it's good to put them around there even if they can't be reached, just for visual effect. If you have a complex building around your outside area, you may need to use multiple brushes to fit around the building. I recommend grouping these brushes together so that they are easier to all select and act as one large brush. With all the brushes selected, press Ctrl and T to turn them into entities. Then in this bar, turn them into funk underscore precipitations. This is the basic way to make snow and rain. This value here determines how much snow or rain there will be. This one here determines what color it will be. And this one here determines if it's snow, rain, ash, or snowfall. For rain, I'd recommend sticking to the gray color, turning up the density to 5000, and choosing rain. This is what rain looks like in-game. For snow, I'd first recommend making any area where the snow would fall into a snow texture like this, and stick to the same grey colour with a density at 5000, and choose snowfall. Make sure to not just choose snow, since it looks identical to rain. This is what snowfall looks like in-game. The last option to choose is ash, though it's seemingly broken and looks like this in-game. And that's it. Thank you for watching, and thank you for 1,000 subscribers. The 1K special video will be out soon. If you like this video, make sure to check out my other Hammer Editor videos, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya!